Days before Vice News broadcast of Guyana for sale and Moe's rising, Vice President Barry Jagdeo says he does not expect anything much since all that he would have said during the interviews out there. In the February 1 interview with Vice News journalist, Jagdeo repeatedly denied that he accepted bribes from Chinese businessmen in exchange for awarding of large contracts. What is your relationship with Mr. Sujuro? Su. Oh, Su. My relationship? Nothing. He is he's a tenant in my place, yeah. And he's a friend of yours? Yes, um, yes, yes. He is a friend of ours. His father was here from many years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he lives next door to you. Yes. Um, you know, he was able to arrange meetings and catch-ups with you at any point in the day. He claims, As a friend, um, yeah. He claims that through his very close relationship with you, He's able to get any deal done. Well, I don't, I don't know and if he's that's... He's able to change laws for investors. But, but uh, then which law has been changed for any investor? So Sue, Sue told us that mm. if you want to get anything done in Guyana, you need some hookups. I'm very close with the Vice President and the other mm. officials. The Vice President and I share a very close relationship. Also, if we do the business, he'll help out no matter what. There's no, no one else who can help if he does. Speaking at a press conference today, Jack Dio said he's not going to pay much attention to the interview. There are all the accusations about Sue collecting bribe for me and everything else. They, I, everything is there in the public domain. I'm worried about the other people who they may have recorded and they will cut their comments and splice them and all of that. So I just think it is standard. These people will come into our countries, they will go wrong, they will talk. If you go in there, it's nothing new that they're lobbyists. A man came crying outside the gate a few days ago. Two words. So what you will find, you will never find like some countries where vice will go and record somebody taking money like with, with me. You'll find probably accused. They said it already in the other interview that somebody. So I, I'm not going to pay too much attention. The opposition will use it and some others. And, but, but this is about our country too. We, it looks like we can't take care of our own resources or, or we can't, um, we got to be corrupt once we're black. That's why I said often it's a blackness in this. So I'm not going to look at that. And if you saw the interview, look back at the interview. In fact, we should play it back. They didn't even know that cut projects were publicly tendered. The Guyana for Sale broadcast will be heard on Sunday, June 19th.